Hi, everybody. Uh, as you know, I am not here today. So I'm just giving you a quick reminder and refresher about what you need to do. Uh, yesterday, after we finished up our quiz, we started working on YMS analogies. They looked like this. We were talking about how YMS compares to a cell. So some of you chose to do this electronically. Others of you chose to do this on paper. Um, first thing you need to do today is finish this up. So when you're finished, it should look like this. And if you would like to pause this video so that you can see these, uh, you are welcome to do so. I'll just scroll down slowly. And you can pause the video and you can take a look at those. Um, the next thing you're going to do after you get done with your YMS analogies is you are going to go into Canvas. You are going to click on Outcome 1. You are going to click on Organelles. And you'll find the lesson for today. So I don't have it linked yet, but in your class, I will. Let me go to that assignment. And it is called the Cell Analogy Project. Let me pull it up for you so you can take a look. So the last thing that you'll probably get done today is to look at a few examples of what a cell analogy project looks like. I have both an Adobe Spark and a Google Slides. Uh, you're welcome to use either, whatever you're comfortable with. And you need to start planning out your project using this uh, document below. So you're going to compare a cell to something you are familiar with. It could be a restaurant, it could be a house, it could be a human body, it could be a baseball park. Um, the only comparison you cannot use is a school because that is the one we used in our example. So the goal by the end of the day today is to have this planning worksheet completed. So that way tomorrow, Wednesday, you are able to begin the actual project itself. Uh, if you have any questions, you can wait until tomorrow and ask me when I come back.